Hello everybody, um, I'm here with Josh Pierce. Josh Pierce is one of our for former goalkeepers, played with our 2002 boys, um, and now is a goalkeeper at Lawrence Tech University. What we're gonna do today is we're going to look to put together some simple exercises, ball handling techniques, some agility, some strength stuff that you guys can do on your own. So each week we're gonna be looking to release a video on, on Monday, right? Something that you can do on your own should be about 30, 45 minutes. Right? You can do it on your day off, um, you can do it on top of your team training sessions, whatever the case may be. Some of the activities are very simple where you could just do it for five or ten minutes after or before your team training, just a little something extra um, to keep yourselves fit right? and get some touches on the ball goalkeeping wise. Also have with us today Coach Dan Dieck who will be helping out and also want to say thanks to John Capco for coming out and filming all these things. So. First things first, would, I'll, before any activity, make sure you get a good dynamic warm-up going on your own. Just get yourself set, ready to go. Another activity, the, the same uh, setup as the one just before, where we're looking to do the figure eight, but now, right, as he goes through, he's gonna start on his left, come back and then when he gets here he's going to adjust and then go to his right just make it a little bit more dynamic with the footwork as he's going through again 30 seconds whenever he's ready and we go good now I'll adjust push off and go the other way good just trying to mimic some different movements that you'll have in the goal Forcing yourself to readjust, get yourself set. Ten seconds left, ten seconds. Last one. And good, good work. So this one. Josh is going to just step in, right, both feet in between, step out with both feet, and then just get himself set. He, and then he's gonna shuffle out. On this one, what we want him to do is one time we want him to lead with his right foot, okay, the next time we want him to lead with his left foot. When he leads with his right foot, he'll shuffle out to the left, there, back around, good. When he leads with his other foot, right there it's left, now he shuffles right, and then back out, good. So it's in, two feet in, two feet out, right set, and then shuffle out, right and left. 30 seconds again, and we go. Good, 10 seconds left. Last one, last one, get one more in. And good. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, we'll start off slow can you, so you can see the pattern. So Josh starts, he goes in, one in, and then one out. Okay, goes two in, good, one, one out, two back in, good, and then two out, okay? One in, good, two out, good, two in, one out, and good. So as he starts to get going, right, hopefully you can start to pick up on the pattern. Again, start slow if you need to, try and get that good rhythm going, and then as you start to get that rhythm, you can start to pick up the pace a little bit. Again, 30 seconds when Josh is ready. And we go. Good, 10 seconds left. And good, good stuff. So the next one is just a simple karaoke. As 
right? Every time in, it's fr forward in front and then back and then balance. Cross forward, back, and then balance, getting himself set, okay? Forward, in front, back, balance, okay? Again, 30 seconds when Josh is ready. And we go. Good. Front, behind, balance. Good. Ten seconds left. And good. Good stuff. So now we're just going to get the ball involved and we're going to do some simple handling exercise just to get ourselves going and then we'll expand it right where we get into some some small diving things like that some small collapse dive saves. So the first one we're going to do is just get those legs just a little bit further than the shoulder width apart and nice and easy just with the fingertips we're going to go around the right and then we'll switch we'll go left and then go into the figure eight ready josh will go and we go all right getting a good rhythm moving the ball as quickly as he can it's going around the right good left now we'll get going figure eight and good next one we'll do the same exact thing but now we actually have the ball in the air so we're going around the right go around the left and then go figure eight okay halfway through maybe switches goes the other direction with it ready and we go nice soft hands there go good gets the figure eight going Good, switches the other direction. And good, this one now, you just up, just going around the waist, and then halfway, just switch and go the other direction. I'll switch every couple of seconds. Ready, and we go. And good, now, next one, it's just here, he's just gonna go over the head, so just a little toss, and then catch. Toss, and then catch, right to left. Just nice and easy, soft hands, All right, just over the head. See if you can extend the arms a little bit more, Josh. There we go, up and over. There we go, just a little flick, catch. Good. Oh. And good. Now we go back down, right, to the ground. This one, you're going to start with one hand in front, one hand behind, and then just looking to switch. So right, left, nice and easy, keeping those legs about shoulder width apart. Ready? And we go. Again, soft hands. Notice he's not slapping the ball, right? Very quiet as he does it. And good, then we'll move into, now it's both hands here, right, in front, and now we're just going front to back, All right? It's nice and easy, same thing, keeping those legs about shoulder width apart, soft hands, front to back, ready, and we go. And good. This 
So now we're going to add in a couple of activities where we start getting used to hitting the ground. Again, we know everybody has different situations, different surfaces, so you can start to get used to the surface, start to get your body used to hitting the ground. And then we'll expand it a little bit in the next activities, going into a little bit more um, complex uh, collapse dives, things like that. So the first one that Josh is going to do, Josh has the ball in his hands, and now he's just going to roll over roll to his back and bring his legs as far back as possible. It's great flexibility from Josh if you're able to, right, touch your toes to the ball, okay? So all he's gonna do is just five of these, just nice and easy, all right, working on that flexibility, getting used to the ground. He'll get two more in, last one, and good. Now, he's gonna go to his side, right, gonna do five, to the right, he's just going to extend the ball, right, and then kick his legs out and rock back up. Good. Again, just nice and easy. Getting used to the surface. Good. Now he's going to flip to the other side. Just there. Now he's going to the left. And good. And obviously, these are all ones that you can do on your own. If Josh stays on. If you do have a, a partner, right, a teammate, right, then not a teammate, but parent, brother, sister, whatever the case may be, right, you can just go ahead and now, right, just do five, where it's just nice and easy. Just playing a nice ball in. You don't want them to have to extend for it. Just a nice, easy ball in, right? Just switch to the other side and we go the other way. Good. Again, just doing four to five each side, getting your body used to hitting the ground. And good. Good. So now with all these activities, we're trying to um, try and cater to everybody's different situations. So we showed you how you can do it just on your own. Can show you how you do it if you have a partner, parent, brother, sister. Now we're gonna show you, you can do these same activities if you have a wall as well. So Josh is just gonna start out nice and simple. The first one that we did, right? Just an overhand throw, catch, and then back. All right, overhand catch, back. Again, just looking to do, right, four or five. Next one he's gonna do, right, he just starts on his side. Just a nice, easy toss. Ball goes in low, good, and he just collects. You can even let it bounce out in front of you, right, and then collect. Good, same thing, now we'll just switch to the other side. Good, just a nice, easy toss. Good, and collect. Good. So again, just whatever you have, whatever space you have, just a couple different activities you can do to get your body used to hitting the ground. Good. So now we're going to add in a little bit more movement, make it a little bit more dynamic with just some collapse dive saves. So Josh here just has two cones, two soccer balls. He's just going to show you the setup real quick. So about two steps, right? Two cones there, and then he's going to go two steps, right, putting the ball out, and then making sure it's forward on an angle so we'll have to look to attack it. Good, another two steps, perfect. So now, again, taking into consideration the surface that you're on, first one, he's gonna start about two yards behind, right, the cone, the balls, getting that good set position. He's gonna shuffle, get through the cones, and on the first one, he's just gonna attack that ball, right? And we're gonna make it nice and easy. If you're on a harder surface, you can still do it, but obviously we don't want you slamming into the ground. Then he's gonna get himself back up, back around, and attack that second ball. So just a quick demonstration from Josh. It's here, good, he's in, just nice and easy, collapse. Rocks himself back up, there, good, back in, and then he gets himself back up, Good, one more time, just nice and easy. Notice how he's controlled, right? If you're on a harder surface, make sure you're under control and going through the ball proper technique, good. So if, right, you have a softer surface, okay, you have more space, if you're able to get outside when it's not snowing, which we don't know when that'll be again, but you can actually look to attack the ball a little bit more and come through it. So now, next two, ready Josh, we go, it's here. Now he's pushing off and going through the ball. He's up, rocks himself up. Good, 
there, up, good, back again, through, good, and good. So probably do, right, three to four, right, reps, rest, and then we want to switch to the other side, and then you can do two to three sets. So we'll just switch to the other side real quick just to show it the other way. Josh picks the ball up. Good, so again, he'll show the controlled version first, shuffling through, nice and easy, good. Good, back up. This one, right, that softer surface. Oh. Good, now he's exploding through. Good, good work, Josh, and good. So now, right, we're gonna go and we get into a more standing upright position, right? It's gonna be a slight bend of the knees, a little bit of a lunge, and now same thing from this side. He's gonna have his left leg out, right? He's gonna roll the ball through and then look to step and attack. One time he'll go with a very controlled dive. Next one, he'll look to attack it a little bit more. Whenever Josh is ready, good, nice and controlled. He's back in and goes the other way. Right leg out now. Good, notice that slight bend, and then that step to push through. Good, he's back in, and now we'll go a little bit more explosive. Good, he's through, then back in. And good. So again, now we've added in the second ball, right? He's going from that standing position where again, that slight lunge rolls the ball through, collapses into that back up around and then attacks this second ball. So first one, the nice controlled version here through steps, attacks, good, leaves that ball back up and then nice, easy control. Good. Takes that ball with them. Now we'll go a little bit more explosive through good he's up and he's in good about two or three yards away from the raw toss and twist And good. Uh, now, you can have the two balls, one off to the side. You're gonna throw the ball against the wall. If you have a partner, again, you can use a partner. So the ball goes. Now you're just gonna do a figure eight through, and then next ball. A little figure eight, twist, find the next one. Again, you can use a partner for this one, as we showed before, or against the wall. One more. And good. Okay, if you do have a partner, right, you can change it up a little bit and actually do the same movement, but now you're just looking to throw the ball back to your partner after catching it. So he gets into the plank position again, right, toss, there he comes through, and there, right, through, good, and around. There, good, good. See if we can get one more, and good. one, Josh is going to go back of the hand, back of the hand, palm, palm, fist, fist, catch. Okay, all right, so this one, just nice and slow to start off with, it's going to go back of the hand, back of the hand, palm, palm, punch, punch, catch. And then I'll go again, all right, that's so just here, palm, palm, it's all right. Good, just a little challenge. Good, now you can actually try and keep it up a little bit longer with the punch as well. So he goes back of the hand, right, go back, back, palm, palm, and now see how many punches you can get. Good. Good, and now 
Awesome. One more. Same thing. Back of the hand, back of the hand, palm, palm. Now can you go double with it? Okay. Ready? Palm, palm. Good. Double. Now he goes to double. And challenge yourself. See how many you can get. Good.